Hey guys, welcome to Addy Aviates. Glad you joined me here. This is going to be the first episode of VATSIM for Dummies. We're just going to start from square one, which is installing VATSIM. The first thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description for my VATSIM. It's going to bring up this page. What you guys want to do is go ahead and register for VATSIM. Um, it's going to ask you some basic information, first name, last name, email, password, all this kind of stuff. Um, I do got to say that after you register for VATSIM, you do have to take a orientation uh, quiz just to make sure that you know a little bit about ATC. Um, it's relatively easy. It's 15 questions um, just to make sure you know what you're doing just a little bit. Um, beginners can absolutely learn on VATSIM. It's not a hard test. Don't worry about it. Um, after you guys register, you're going to go to the second link in the description, which is going to be to download vPilot. This is the actual VATSIM program. So you're going to go ahead and download this. After you download it, I already have mine downloaded, so I'm not going to do a reinstall. Um, it's going to pop up a first time opening message, um, and it's going to take you right here. So what you guys are going to have to do, this all this stuff is going to be blank for you. You're going to put in your VATSIM SID, which you can find in your profile on uh, my VATSIM, the link you were just at. Um, you're going to have to put in your password, your full name, your home airport. And then uh, I like to just use automatic. As you can see, it's actually the only option right now. But So for this part, relatively easy. And once again, I said you can find your SID on your uh, profile on VATSIM. Uh, the next one is audio you're going to make sure that you're having a mic plugged in or you can even use like a regular microphone um so your microphone device you either have a headset mic or an actual microphone and then your output device you can either have it also go into your headset or you can even have it go from your uh, monitor or your tv or whatever you're using um disable realistic realistic atc audio effects basically what would happen if you turn this off is you would hear the people that are talking on ATC just how, as you hear me now, clear voice. But when this smart uh, box is unchecked, it sounds like everybody's talking on a radio. So I highly recommend keeping this unchecked. That way um, it sounds more realistic, right? Clear, real life. Um, after we do that, you're going to want to set a push to talk button. I use the left control key on my keyboard. You can use any keyboard, preferably pick one that doesn't uh, interfere with any other keybinds you have might have for Flight Simulator. And then this model matching here, um, I have 2,924 models um, that VATSIM uses. So when I'm actually in a flight, I can look to my right and the guy will say American Airlines, blah, blah, blah. And I'll actually see an American Airlines uh, plane in the same one that he's flying on his simulator. And the way that that happens is by getting this fly-by-wire installer application. If you guys don't know what fly by wire is it they have a free a320 uh 747 and then they also have this thing called uh fsl tl which is traffic injector and it works with VATSIM as you can see here so you want to go ahead and download this if you want to get model uh, model matching i prefer the fsl tl um, so after you download that do all that um stuff and then it will get a bunch of models for you um and then that should be it for the actual VATSIM part. So you're going to go apply, OK, and then you should be logged in. Um, another thing that you're going to need is this application right here, VATSPY. And I have the link in the description for that download as well. It's going to look like this. You're going to go ahead and VATSPY setup 1.42 EXE is the one right now. But you're going to go ahead and download it. And this is the VATSPY application. So I customized my colors and everything. So what I made it try to look like a military radar because, you know, that's kind of the theme of my channel is like the military radar. And so that's what I try to do, make it look like a military radar for all the planes here. But what that spy does, as you can see here, um, at Louisville, we have tower and then the ATIS. So those are the, the controllers that are on right now. We have tower and then say Atlanta, we have ground tower, ATIS, and then we have approach. And every airport that has ATC will populate these um, up here. There's also little filters up here. So if you want to turn off the aircraft, you can do that, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's showing the controllers, stuff like that. And then you could also look up individual airports. So as you can see here, let's try to find an airport that has, okay, so we'll do Boston. So we're going to look up K Boss. 
and it's going to bring up the controllers that are online as well as all of the departures and arrivals. So VATSPIM, uh, VATSPY is an actual, I, I would say you need it. It's You don't actually need it to, um, to use VATSIM, but I would strongly recommend it because it helps out so much. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it with VATSPY and VATSIM setup. Um, that's going to do it for the first episode. I know it was a short one, but it doesn't really take much to get into VATSIM. Uh, the second one we're going to get, we're going to get more get into actually flying on bats and making a flight plan and all that kind of stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions or if i mess something up or you can't install properly leave them down in the comments and i will get back to you as soon as i can thank you all for watching make sure you like subscribe comment and i hope to see you again next time